Hello. In this video I will show a simple example of using view models in Kotlin Jetpack Compose. What we're going to do is modify an existing application to use the view model. We can see here in the first application, the counter value changes to zero when the user uses the application. And then they change the rotation and status of the application. The second application using a view model can overcome this. Okay, let's start by creating a new Kotlin project. I will not explain in more detail about how to create a new project, please see my previous video. Ok, loading is complete, let's just delete this default code. To make this video easier and shorter for the first application, we just copy the code on GitHub, the link is in the description of this video. Once you are on this page, just copy the main activity section here to the main activity in Android Studio. So it's pasted. Here you can see the myCounterApp function which is a composable function, where the coding is below. This myCounterApp function contains two functions, namely the increment and decrement functions, then there is also a section for the user interface, where this section consists of two buttons each for increment and decrement, then there is a text to display the results. We also see that there is a variable called count which uses the remember API to store objects in memory. Ok, let's run this application first so we can get an idea of how it looks and the results. Ok, now the application is running on the Android emulator. Let's try to increment and decrement the counter. Ok, this works as expected. But try to see if we rotate the screen. We see here the counter becomes zero. It turns out the value is not stored as we expected. That would be a bad user experience and that's something we need to avoid. A quick workaround. Instead of using remember we can use something called remember savable. And then we need a state saver etc. But if you really want to build the right applications. For the long term, you need to understand how to store data, how to save the state better. And ViewModel class can help us a lot. And that's what we're going to do in the next part of this video. Regarding ViewModel, you can reference the documentation on this site, the link is in the description of this video. Ok, next let's go back to Android Studio. The ViewModel alternative is a regular class that holds the data you display in your UI, so let's create a new class. Click on this line then right click, select new. Select Kotlin class file. I named it counter app view model. So this is a new counter app view model file.
So now our counter app view model should be of type view model. We need to import this. Okay, now in our view model, what things do we need to have? Of course the first thing is that we need to have a variable. That stores the count. We will create a private variable. Which means it can only be accessed from within our class. And cannot be accessed from outside our class. This should be val. And then it is common practice to add an underscore to that variable so you can see directly. This count is an mutable state object. This is how we can define it. It's going to be of type integer. Now let's import mutable state of. This count variable is private. So we can only access it from within this view model. And that's good practice, isn't it? But this value is of course needed. By other parts of this application. For example, we need to display it on the user interface, so we need to expose it externally. We add another count variable this time. Without an underline in front of it, which indicates that this variable is not private. It is a mutable state type integer. This count value is equal to the private count value. Next, let's go back to main activity. We need to move the increment and decrement functions to this view model class. Let's just copy it first. And then paste it here. We only modifying the private variable. So modify this count to underscore count. As we stated above, the underscore count is private. Go back to main activity. Now let's delete these functions. And now we need to add our counter view model here. Now we can use the view model to modify, for example, what we display. We do not need this count variable here, so we can delete it. We also need to modify the count variable and the increment and decrement functions as it is now are in the view model. In front of this count, just add view model. We need to do the same for increment and decrement functions. View model dot increment. Also this one, view model dot decrement. This one should be count dot value. Now to use my counter function app has to pass view model as parameter. So in main activity on create function, where we call my counter app function is now has an error as we need to pass a view model to it. But where do we get this view model from? Well, we should set a view model object inside of our set content. Val view model, counter app view mold. And this will just be a view model object like so. And now in order to use this view model, we need to add the dependency here so you can hover over it. And you can see add dependency on Android X lifecycle lifecycle view model compose. So let's click to import this here. We need to wait until the Gradle sync finish. Okay, the sync is completed. And now we can pass this view model to my counter app function. Let's just delete some of these imports that are no longer used. Okay, the main activity looks good. But we see that in the view model file there is still an error. Let's see what the cause is. In both of these functions there is an error. It seems I forgot to add a value. Count is an object. What we increment and decrement is the value. Okay, looks good now. Now let's try our application and see whether our variable is going to be stored or not. Let's increment a little bit and then let's turn around our phone.
And we can see even though it did refresh the user interface. Basically rebuilding everything. But our state has maintained. And now our number 7 is still there. Okay. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one.